Good morning guys, we're at Roșia Montana, one of the largest gold mines in Romania, in Europe and in the world. This is how it looks like. Beautiful as it looks, it did a lot of things to do. Oh my god. That was dynamite. Holy shit. Did you feel the ground shaking? Oh my god. Let's do some mining. Let's go. Hello and good morning. Uh, we are now in Rosha Montana, which is a, a mining village in the middle of the Apusen Mountains. And uh, we arrived last night. And now we are hyped to visit one of the biggest gold mines of Romania, which has been here since 2000 years ago and maybe more. So let's go and check it out. We're literally sitting on gold, like yes. hundreds of tons of gold. I remember a friend of mine told me a joke that grab some earth from there and there will be gold inside for sure. <laughs> yes, let's so see. let's see, maybe we, get, uh, we will get rich at the end of the video. <laughs> We just went inside the mine and uh, we went together with a local who is uh, an engineer and he's been working for 30 years inside the mine and he told us a little bit about the history, about the fact that it was built by the Roman, uh, by the Dacian people and maintained by the Roman Empire. It's, it spans of 150 kilometers underground through tunnels and it's a, like a huge maze underneath this whole mountain and right now we're in the uh, courtyard of the mine you see Gigi she's wandering around and here you have the tools which were used for crushing the um, ore that was brought outside the mine and you have the old mills the new modern ones and then electric one so it's basically like a walk through the time in the mining world so they close most of the mines and nobody's going now underground with the with the wagon anymore to dig the uh, the gold out and something that is very interesting this mine has yielded in the past 2000 years 2000 tons of gold so as the uh, I told us this mine helped build up empires. The Austrian Empire, the Roman Empire, it helped build it up. We are in a gold mine, guys. There are 35 entrances inside the mine. So the mine is spanning for 150 kilometers underground and there are 35 entrances. One of which we entered inside the mine, the one, the old one, the Roman one. And this is another one and you can see that the water is coming from inside the mine. When I was a kid, 
we used to study about this uh, mines and about the fact that they were mining gold here and here they made like a station to clean the water that is coming from outside the mine because the, wa the water is full with impurities and with copper and iron and it gives the color it gives the red color of the water and the red color of the water it's also the reason why this area is called Roșia, Roșia Montana. Roșia basically means red in Romanian. Whole area has been declared as a UNESCO site uh, since I think one month ago. And now the locals are hoping that because it's a UNESCO site, more people will come and try to visit these areas. And it's very important that a lot of companies should invest in this area so that they can uh, benefit properly from the tourism because I think 40% of the locals are still here are still living here the other ones that they left and here we are at the eagle's nest or raven's nest this rock is supposed to be the pride of uh, Roșia Montana the one that is identified as a landmark of where the mine is located well Lots of flowers we have here. Wow, this looks promising. I'm excited. Well, oh my god, I'm coming here. Be careful. Wow, wow. Oh my goodness! And over here, in the back, you see the remains of the old mine. The whole valley. Yes, and the mountain we are sitting on top now is filled with 300 tons of gold underneath our feet. <sighs> Picture that. This is basically an old collapse mine shaft. And now we're trying to reach that side to see the big quarry. All these rocks, as you can see, they have iron and copper in them. They have a very, very nice brown, deep brown color. And you can see the former mine roads we're leading here and you can also see Gigi who finally got the courage I got courage, I got the gold, we can quit you too, we can go and live in Bahama yeah. We are literally in the heart, the golden heart of Romania Below us there are hundreds of tons of, uh, of gold and this was a mining point since 2000, more than 2000 years ago since 2006, this mine has been closed. Nobody's mining here anymore because the equipment was pretty old. They were using old trucks and uh, very, 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 very old mining equipment. And it was more feasible to close down the mine rather than continue mining it. And now it's being left like this. Now we're going on the road, on the mining road, back to our car and continue our journey and hopefully we get to see the copper mine, which is more massive. Yeah, but how can we get on the same... Will we get to the same point? Back to our car? Eventually. Eventually? eventually. Oh God, I don't like it when you say eventually. It usually ends up in a problem. <laughs> And this is a mine entry also, which is being like secluded for people not to go inside. Did you look the old mining equipment? Really old mining. There used to be a mountain here, right? Now it's a mine. A mine. 
beautiful as it looks, it did a lot of things to the environment. That was dynamite. Holy shit. Yes, they are did blasting the, the mountains. Did you feel the ground shaking? Yes, I felt the vibration. I had to hold my hand here on this pole, man. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Oh, did you see it there? Yes. The smoke. Holy shit. Oh my god. In the clear blue water. Oh my Bluish god, green. Oh my god, it, it, but it was like deep inside a freaking mountain. Yes. I and felt, I felt the whole ground shaking, like all of a sudden, and like, sh like a huge blast. Do you see the smoke? It's coming up from there. We're not lying. Like, come on. And now we are on the other side of the quarry, and. This is where all the sediments that are not used inside the quarry, all the unused uh, mined ore, this is where it all flows down with the water and in the end in the river. And all this water is filled with iron, yes, and since when it reaches outside and it uh, comes in contact with oxygen, it oxidizes. That's why it has this reddish color and also filled with other chemicals that the people are using for mining, for the mining purpose. And the pH of this water is acidic and as you can see, the atmosphere around here is pretty gloom because there was once a village here and right now this village is underwater. You can also see the, the tip of a church, which is currently 70% underwater and mind it the church was on top of a hill the sad part about it is that nobody asked the villagers if they are okay with this they just told them nothing is gonna happen and when the sludge and sediments and water hit their houses and their yards they just told them if you don't like it you move and the people one by one slowly slowly they had to move they could not move the church, so the church was left behind, and as you can see, it's still there now. On this note, we finish our video with the blast. Oh, shit. <laughs> see you in the next one, guys. See you. Don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> do the thing. And <laughs> GG right now is speechless. I, I, I know it. Yes, another one. So apparently they are going to go like this on and on and on. So oh on this note guys, see you in the next video. Please subscribe and don't forget to uh, follow our channel.